G'day, g'day, thanks for watching and I hope you're well wherever you are in the world. And today, there's not much substance in this video, it's just for fun, it's just food for thought, it's a different way to look at your camera and your photography. So let's spin this around and get right into it. Yeah, well, as I say, thank you very, very much for watching. If you're anything like me, you're looking at all the camera reviews and videos on YouTube and they just stack on top of each other. You're looking at the specifications and the specs and the new camera releases and what's coming out next and the best and the bestest and the better of the best. And after all of that, it's quite overwhelming and it's easy just to lose track of what we're actually here for. And that is to simply take photos that we like and take videos that we like. And who knows what, whatever your reason is, maybe it's because you just like doing it for fun. Maybe you do it for a job. Maybe you're trying to improve your skills in a whole range of different things. That's up to you. But today, I'm just going to bring it back down to earth and let's think about this in the most simplest of terms. Your camera is a hammer. I know that seems a little bit mental, but when you think about it, your camera is a hammer. It's something that you pick up in order to create what you need to create in the moment. Whether it's a picture, whether it's a video, whatever you want to do, a time lapse, who cares, whatever. It's whatever you want to do. The camera is a hammer. If you run into a hardware store and go to the hammer section, believe you me, there's not just one hammer. There's a whole heap of hammers. And you know what they all do? They all hammer in nails. Every single one of them in there hammers in nails. And there's one over there and it's about $300 for a hammer and there's one down there it's about $10 for a hammer. And if you pick up the $10 one and you pick up the $300 one and you hit both the nail with them, they hammer in the nail. This one hammers in the nail, this one hammers in the nail. This camera here hammers in the nail, that camera there hammers in the nail. Your camera is a hammer. Sure you can get caught up on the specs and the techs and the specs and the edges, whether they're bleeding or whether they're leading or whether all of those different things and it just bogs you down and it actually causes a bit of suppression of your creativity, if you ask me. Because you find yourself sitting there wrangling over, oh my gosh, how am I going to actually create the thing rather than just picking up your hammer and fucking creating it. Hey, I think that's a good place to leave it. Thank you.